Well, all right. Uh, okay, we are going to now get into chapter 7, page 52. And we're going to be talking about the perfect tense of the pa'al pattern. So let's talk about the verb patterns, also known as the binyanim. Binyanim. Binyan in Hebrew is a building. It has to do with the, even the construction of a building, the construct of something. But when we talk about a building, a binyan, all right, it's the whole enchilada, okay? Of course, there's a lot of different parts, but uh, the building completed, uncompleted, the building as it was before, the building as it's going to be, of course, that makes a lot of sense when we're looking at past, present, and future verbs. Now, in Hebrew, there are seven buildings of verbs. Now, we're actually going to be learning five of these buildings, uh, two of them we're going to look at, you're going to be familiar, but they they don't play a huge role in Biblical Hebrew. They are much more present in modern Hebrew. So uh, we're going to put them on the back burner and uh, we'll just touch on them really at the end of the end of not this course, but the end of the full year course. Even the full year, the the program is truthfully, uh, <laughs> it's a two-year program to get you fully, fully through the Torah at the pace that we go. Now, in university, uh, what we're doing could be a one-year program. However, they're going at it every single day, usually three to four plus hours a day. So we're going at it once to twice a week, and uh, we have the online, we have live. And so for us to get fully through the book, it, it can take one and a half to two years. All right. So um, we're going to, as you can see, be touching on some of these verbs probably in the second year. All right, if you're going to hang with me all the way through. Okay, with that said, all right, I want to now talk about and show you these buildings. As you can see, they're laid out like the menorah. And every single aspect of the menorah, there's seven branches, and every branch is intended to illuminate a particular aspect of the Beit Mechdash, the Holy of Holies, the Holy Place, the Makom HaKadosh. Uh, every aspect has to do with illumination. And so when we're talking about the binyan, the construct of a verb, all right, we're talking about action, passive, all right, action and inaction, all right. Uh, she is going, she will be going, all right, usually that's more passive, all right, she said, she will be saying, okay, maybe she will, maybe she won't, ah, I'll get it done in a little while, that's kind of what passive is, all right, you're not creating an action that is immediate. Now, we're starting out on the action side. The action side is the pa'al, the pl, the hifil, and the hitpel. The passive side is the nifal, the pu'al, and the hufal. And the hitpel actually kind of right in between. Um, and what we will learn about these is the hufal and the pu'al, they're not extremely present in the Torah. So really, when it comes to the passive side of things, we'll focus on the nifal when we get there. Right now, for the next almost half the book, all right, at least for the next, uh, I would say, eight 
to nine chapters. We're going to focus on the pa'a. So we're in chapter seven right now. Let me just, I want to make sure, I don't want to, to to me. Uh -oh. We are sticking such a typical thing that we do at night here in Israel. Sorry about that. At night, you stick. All right, so let me go back real quick to see when we actually transition to... Um, hmm. Okay, so in chapter 11, we transition to the imperfect tense, which is the future. So right now, um, we are, what, uh, chapter 7? So we're four chapters where we're going to hang here. But as far as the binyan of Pa'al, we are going to be here for a while. <laughs> And, and be thankful for that, because that means we're going to learn it, and we're going to learn it good. And it is one of the most uh, formative uh, binyans, or constructs of verb forms, in the, um, in the Torah. All right, so we're going to be learning this, and we're going to learn it well. And uh, we're going to just start with the pa'al and the pi'al. And we will eventually get to the Hifel, Hitpa'el, and Nipal. All right? But in the meantime, all right, get ready because in just a few minutes, we're going to start Pa'al in the perfect tense. Okay? All right. So, uh, any questions about the verbs, uh, feel free to ask in our Hebrew community or touch base. Um, on our WhatsApp group, uh, but just remember that uh, when it comes to the, the verb buildings or construction of verbs, right now, the only one we're focusing on here is this pa'al, okay? And that's it. That's all you need to know for now. Okay, I'll see you in the next lesson.